Hello viewers, I am Mega G Wolf and welcome to another Let's Play. Presented you by Sega. Oh no. <laughs> Presented you by Ega. Let's play Tasmania on the Ega Genesis. Now a few of you are probably wondering why of all games I've picked Tasmania. Uh, it's mainly because I haven't played this game in years and I remember it being quite a bitch but reasonably enjoyable. So why not? I thought, you know what? I want to play this, but I'm going to do it differently. So I thought I'd let's play this. So I can't quite remember everything, but the uh, story is big birds that lay big eggs that can feed big families for a big amount of time. And so Taz, being the greedy bastard that he is, goes off in search of these eggs. And that is pretty much the whole reason why you're playing the game, is to feed Taz's hunger. So, uh, got a lot of incentive here. Okay, C button jumps, B button does his famous spinny move, and A button eternally scars you for life. Or picks stuff up, depends on what situation you're in. But since I have something in my hands, uh, you can uh, press B to throw items, and A to just drop them on the floor. In general, you will eat items. Uh, this is not always good because you will eat some bad items, but most items will do good things. Now there's going to be a lot of sound effects because pretty much any attack from any monster makes an annoying sound like this. Please note, I have no idea what this thing is. It used to scare me as a kid. Um, I just breathed, I just breathed fire. Uh, that was from the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers we just picked up a minute ago. Yes, the band. Um, and so we have to get over the quicksand. Wow, there's a lot to explain at the beginning of the game. These things heal you. Destroy them. Waterfalls. It's, you know, all good. And there are some crab-like creatures. I have no idea what they're meant to be. And here we have a checkpoint. Yay! So whenever we die, which believe me, it's going to happen at some point, we will return there. And... Go, 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 go. Woo! Get away from me. So that was just for some health. So let's ride a... A, a geyser? Yeah, geyser. I was looking for the right word. Almost said waterfall, but that would be going the wrong way. <laughs> So let's see what we... Oh, God! Stop tonguing me. More quicksand. You can actually ride these guys uh, to get across the quicksand, but I wouldn't advise it too much because they do know in the end that you're up there and they try to grab you and uh, they hurt a lot. Okay, now I'm going to break this part. This part actually expects you to jump on the geysers one, uh, one after the other. But... Um, Actually, spinning in midair. <laughs> yeah, that's the face you make when you die. <laughs> it's awesome. But um, spinning in midair actually uh, gets you further, but whatever. Okay, I made it. That was shit. That was rubbish, but I made it alive. <laughs> Levels are reasonably short in this game, so uh, I'll probably be able to get to the first boss in this uh, in this uh, video. Die. So, first of all, we have to go all the way to the right, because we have to try and find the lowest bit to get on. Now, this was something I didn't get. Listen to Taz jumping. He sounds like a cat. What is a Tasmanian devil, anyway? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it is. I have no idea. Someone enlighten me, because I never really thought to research into what a Tasmanian Devil actually is. Oh! <laughs> I just had an enemy. Occasionally you'll find these stars. They uh, give you invincibility for a while. Yay, we now have flames. And you will find bombs. Bombs can be really annoying, especially because they're placed in strategic areas that you really can't help but eat them. If you're about to eat one though and quickly press the A button, you will stop yourself. So, I can quickly press the A button and then he'll just grab it. 
Of course, that doesn't make you safe from the bomb because they will explode in the end anyway. So I wouldn't advise doing that. Now we're meant to go to the right, but there's a one up over here, so. Om nom 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 nom! That will uh, repay the one I've lost. Okay, I'm going to need uh, continue, so. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to bother using continues. Have safe states. <laughs> Oh no, it's a bomb, but I thankfully pressed A and now I blow up. Wahaha. Oh god. Bah. These can... Oh, you see, those bombs would be so annoying. Once you have the flame, mind you, you can only use it about five times, so I probably... Uh... Oh, I had two more. There you go, now I've run out now. Whee! Like, well, what is up there anyway? I never checked. There's probably something up here. It's more health. Why is there loads of health up here? Is there something... Oh, it's a one-up and a continue. Awesome, that's cool. Hey! So that's level two done already. Wow, we're making quite big progress. Although, there are a lot of levels in this. But yeah, I think it will be a reasonably short Let's Play. Despite that. Oh! Okay, this is the simplest boss ever. Just whack him on his head. If you're good at timing jumps, easiest boss ever. Believe me. This is when the levels start to become a little more annoying, when we come into the Acme Labs. So, well, the Acme Factories. So, I'm going to leave it here for the first video. And if you leave, Taz. He gets very impatient very quickly. Well, this is going to be rather a short Let's Play, but I thought it might be enjoyable for you to watch me play this through again, because it is quite difficult. I will see you next time, viewers, on the next Let's Play Tasmania on the Aga Genesis.